Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about one of the DI improvement that Microsoft has introduced in the .NET 8 and that is Keyed Services. Consider an example, you have an interface that is implemented in the two classes. You need to register those dependencies in the service collection. Now if you inject those dependencies is one of the constructor, which class instance you will get. Let's look at the code. I have already created a project named as Kid Services. Inside Kid Services project, we have infrastructure folder which contains iData provider interface. This pro iData provider interface has one method which is get response which returns string. We have also created two classes, one is database provider and one is another one is the web provider which implements the iData provider interface. Now to register these dependencies, we need to go to the program.cs file where we can use extension methods provided by Microsoft. Either we can use add singleton, add scoped or add transient. For now, we will be using add transient. Sorry. Nice. Here we go, right? So here if you see, we have used the add transient method where we have specified the interface name and the class name where we have implemented this interface. Now to inject the dependencies, let's go to the weather forecast controller. We need to create a variable of type iData, pro iData provider and in the constructor as well, let's pass a parameter of type i data provider variable name would be data provider and let's assign this data provider to underscore data provider variable that we have already created now what type of instance that we will get here let's execute this and let's look at that right if you see i have received the or we can see the instance of type data, database provider. The reason because in inside the program.cs file, we have re re registered the database provider in the last and that is the reason we are getting the database provider in, uh, instance inside my weather forecast controller. Now, if you want both web provider as well as the database provider instances inside weather forecast controller, how you can achieve that? Let me stop this application. Let me go to the program dot cs file here we can use the add kit services uh, extension method right we can use the add kit services transient version right and where we need to specify the key here i'll use the web provider and here as well i'll use the add kit transient and we need to pass the key here right oh by mistake okay here we go right now the uh, one approach is that you can inject the dependency using the from kid services here we need to specify the key that we have used here so here i can use the web provider now here we should be able to see the uh, web provider instance let me execute this write out execute here if you see the instance that we have got is the web provider. Now another approach is that I can simply remove this and I'll use the iService provider interface and using this, right, Microsoft has provided get required git services extension method where we need to specify the iData provider type and we can use the key here, right? So for now, I have used the web provider. Let me execute this again. Right. And I can I can see the instance is the web provider. That's it for this video. Thank you.